I think I've had the opportunity to meet most of you, um, but my name is Mark Drake. I've been a financial advisor for the last 32 years. I started right out of high school. I didn't go to university. I started my own business in the financial services business, and we struggled early on. As a self-employed person, and Mike's going to talk more about this later, it's difficult because you have to create your own income. It's the purest form of income generation in the world. Not just show up, do the work, and get paid, but you have to create work. And I wasn't good at that early on. We were poor. The car we owned caught, the car she drove caught fire in a pharmacy parking lot with her in the back seat. She will never drive a bad car the rest of our life, ever. You with me? Yes. So you have to fight. This discussion about money isn't just money. It can be emotional, okay? So it's important that we start with that and now we can move forward because there are some things that people feel about money. We hear this in America. We hear this from people that don't have money. Money is the root of all evil. What, is, what does that sound like? Sounds biblical. I'll explain. Money can't buy happiness. We all have opinions. Right? Everybody's got a different opinion, different viewpoint. But these are common things that people say, and people hear, and people feel about money. So, the money is the root of all evil. <laughs> yeah. See? See, these are things. That, see, right now, I'm just stirring it up, right? People say, ah, man, yes it is. No, it isn't. Yes. Ah. Hmm. Starting to sound Bosnian. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is this. It's not money is root of all evil, but in 1 Timothy, which is in the Bible, the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A couple of you have said that already. See, our attitude towards money is really the problem, not the money itself. Money is actually morally neutral. <laughs> It's how we process it and how we feel about it, okay? If you, th this is a great quote from Henry Fielding. He's an English novelist. He says, if you make money your God, it will plague you like the devil. He kind of said that a few minutes ago, okay? So we're, we're going to kind of peel this back a little bit. What is the purpose of money? Can anybody tell me? Simplify the trade, basically. Simplify the trade. 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 No, I trade my work, I trade oh, my goods yes. for other people's work. Yes. Okay. The important thing is to remember that because when you start piling up money just because of money, I believe that's when, when the problems begin. Okay. Just okay, interesting. Interesting, that's good. I like. The basic principle of money is to exchange it for goods and services. So that sums it up kind of. Okay. For you, I got more. Anyone else? <laughs> well, you can always, I mean, it helps to survive mm -hmm. on a daily basis. So, so that's really where I'm going with this. Is it, what The purpose of money is first to provide basic needs. That's really why we have money. Yes, you're right. The invention of currency was for that purpose. See, it you have to have it to provide for basic needs. You need it if you would like to provide for others, which you saw me get a little emotional about. Right? And by the way, it doesn't have to be just your, fam your, your, your immediate family. You could eventually, if you handle your money properly, be an impact for other family members, like parents that you never expected to have to do that with. That's personal for me because I have, I have to do that today for my parents. I help to supplement their retirement. I never thought I would have to do that. 
If you handle it correctly, it will give you that opportunity. It can bring you security financially. It is true, you shouldn't hoard money, I think, but it can provide for stability long term. It can bring you security long term if you're able to save some of it. I'm going to come back to that in just a few minutes. So when times like that happen, you will have the resources to continue until you find that source of income. I also believe it confirms direction for your life. Your grades do that in school, don't they? Okay. If you're getting a one, is that bad? Yes. You're not in a good direction, are you? You need to change direction so that you can begin to go get the threes, the fours, the fives. Money can do the same thing for you. It will provide, it can provide some proper direction for you in your life and how it matches up with your goals. Okay?